O oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Smash, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. When I slumbered these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Smash, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Then enter Greg Smash, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Smash. And Smash, when Navi speaks, don't listen well to her words of wisdom, because you already know the entire game you've played through this about 15 times already. Hey guys, Smashball here, back with more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3 Heart Challenge. My favorite line out of anything the Great Deku Tree ever says is the fate of Hyrule, nay the world depend on thee. But yeah, that's just my personal thing. Now, inside the Great Deku Tree. And some audio cracking. Oh well. So I get for not using capture card now, isn't it? Haha, -ha, I can have shot. Bam! And here we have the Deku Nut! Which the item I will not be using. Now, I wouldn't be surprised that if today someone were to come up with this sort of thing, they would not have the good intentions of what was probably 15 years or like 17 years ago. Um, yay. Treasure chest. It's a map that I probably will hardly need at all. Blah, blah, blah. I know how to use a map. Um. Woo! That's what's... You can open a door! Really? I can? I didn't know that. But it doesn't tell you how to enter into a hole. And that's what I need the shield for. Bang. Bang. Hmm. I don't really have a voice for this thing. Do I really want to? No, I don't really want to. I think it would be too scary if I tried. Yes, I know. Yes, I know you're breaking the fourth wall, blah, blah, blah. If you have courage, then why don't you try it? Oh, well, a floating block. That's not suspicious at all. Woo! Holy, yes, I made it. I guess I'm not going to be getting back. Who cares? I got the treasure chest. Woo!
I found the flare, bleh, flary sing shot. The fairy slingshot. All right. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. Cool story, bro. All right. Yeah, if you want to shoot right away when you first press C, then you just go ahead and do whatever. Okay. So, to get out our flary sling sing shot. I also wouldn't cause graphical glitches if I had the screen much larger, but, you know, I can't. So. Now, I've never been one to Z-target things while using a, the flurry sing shot, unless I'm targeting a enemy up close or anything like that, or like ladder. Now, here's the interesting thing about this sling shot is that I'm actually beyond good with a slingshot only because I can sort of aim it without having a cursor because like yeah these guys are barely in draw distance and I just missed them by like one pixel and if I could... If I wasn't using arrow keys, this would be so much easier. Okay, well, I can't hit him because I need to be up closer because I'm... Yeah, I'm just using arrow keys, so I can't hit these guys. If I was using a stick controller, this would be so much easier. Which is another reason why you shouldn't emulate games. On a stick controller, I can essentially hit things so long as they're in draw distance using the slingshot. If I could aim this, yeah, that's terrible. Aim this upright. Uh, that's not aimed at all. Uh, well, uh, that's rather interesting. Oh, yeah, I'm saying on nothing in case anyone's wondering. That's another amazing thing about this game. In my head goes through the chest. So, anyway, I'm gonna go up. Yeah, if it's using a normal controller, then I can shoot anything so long as it's in draw distance. And that's the only prerequisite for me hitting anything with a slingshot. Including keys. Stand far enough back from it. There we go. So if I decide I don't want the compass, I can go right through. Woo! Um, let's see. I need to go over here. And I got digger seeds. Woohoo! There's a for your sing shot. Finish him! Yeah! So. Right there is a golden skull chula. But since I'm not really doing the side quests, I don't really care about the golden skull chula. Kick open this chest. You get a recovery card. Um, all right. Now then, you know those Deku sticks. Now then, these Deku sticks. I can light, and I'm gonna like go right to the bar. Darn. So close. And lag. Lag too. I can, uh, wrong button, get this, and across with this, and there we go. Yeah. 
I always pull out my sword instead of um, waiting until the A button appears. Just so that I know I can do it. Or not have my uh, stick burn before I don't want it to. 23 is number one. Which is something I'm pretty sure they didn't actually put in Master Quest. So you had to figure out by yourself. Oh, I wouldn't care. You're giving me the information I need. Bang. Well, why not mention that into every other place where we could potentially dive? Oh, wait, because this one actually has a switch. That lowers the wire level. In Master Quest, the time was greatly shortened, and you had to duck using your shield. Which was something that took me much longer to figure out, because I've always been used to um, this version. But now that I've played through Master Quest a few times... I'm not used to the Master Quest version. Oh, you don't need to tell me how I can hold on to a block. In fact, I could probably jump from the block to the ledge. Pay attention to what the action icon says. In fact, I probably don't even need to grab onto this. No, I do not. Okay, well, see ya. Aren't you? Oh, well, you're actually a problem. Oh, well, too bad. Light some torches. Light some torches. Opens up that door. Open up this door. Owned. In case you're wondering. Um. Let's see if I can pull this off. I believe a spin attack and a jump attack both deal double damage. Now this is actually quite funny, because if I ever forget that my X button is not my, um... Like that right there. I ever forget then you can oh wait that's not my oh there's my jump button okay so I always jump attack the enemy and I always end up getting hit so eventually when I'm fighting like South Hill Snipes or something it's gonna get quite hilarious because I will just fail epically by hitting the button I'm not supposed to hit okay this right here if you want to get this, you're going to have to come back at a later point in time because as far as I know, you cannot actually knock that or you can't do anything with that path just yet. That's what the action icon says to enter into the hole. Enter in the hole. In the hole. No, I believe in Master Quest, you could actually light the your um, stick from that torch on the wall. I'm pretty sure you could do it. Okay. Now then, this need to duck. And you will fall down into... Well, I'm going to assume swamp water. So, now then, um... 20!
Oh, come on. I'm gonna get from the back, aren't I? Twenty three is number one. There we go. Oh, yeah, I have to hit you. Yeah, how'd you know our secret? How oh, irritating! So annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. Or you could just run away and not tell me. You know, that always works. So how would I completely not even pay attention to whatever this guy tells me and figure it out on my own because this is so hard. Now, oh, well, too bad I missed whatever the secret to being Queen Goma was. Oh man, that, that's going to be terrible that I don't know what the secret is. Oh man, I'm not sure if I can do this boss battle. And yes, we will actually be doing this boss battle now because the dungeon is so short. Um, Fog. Just look at that texturing. Even Lincoln's. What? Uh. 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 What? The. Wait, hold on. Uno momento. <laughs> okay. You didn't expect this link to just freeze in midair. Parasitic armored arachnid goma. Jump attack deals double damage. And why did I unzi target? Okay, well, fine. I'm just gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way now, aren't I? Yeah, so that was what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine or ten hits to kill Queen Goma? Yeah, it was hard. Yeah, ten minutes to kill Queen Goma. The most joked about boss in all of Zelda gaming. Okay, let's step to the blue light. So, this is Smash Ball. Please like the video, subscribe, comment. So, I'm going to be out just before this cutscene. See you guys then.